cheesy as it sounds, I felt like I had to run. I had to run for something that mattered. I had to run towards a future that I know that we can all create through the things that we care about. I care about an industry that used to create so many jobs and it wasn't a beautiful industry. Once I found out about the Baltimore garment industry, really understood it, I realized, gosh, we really hurt a lot of people. And we still do today. The flag, the anthem, everything we do hurts people. But that doesn't mean that we can't move industry forward. That doesn't mean we can't move forward as people. And we do need those that surround us and say, hey, it's not that crazy because you just take that one step. And I remember, you know, Susan, I, I couldn't breathe because my mask, I was having trouble. And she brought me this mask and it helped me breathe better. And so we think about fashion as just this frivolous thing. But what it does do is it does create jobs, it does keep skills alive, and that's what our garment industry, at least for the future, is about. It's about a community coming together and making things that matter. It wasn't me that ran 200 miles, it was Sarah who came and met me at the flagpole and we were like, oh my god, how do we survey this? Like, We're an entire community that can support each other, but we have to ask. So I want to thank all of you for being here and to help being a part of the initiative. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held in the twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? And the Thank you.